Welcome to Violin Adventures number 22. A big shout out to all you subscribers. We now have 100 subscribers. We're going to start out with some lathe work. The lathe is running really well and I am making a spindle here for the harp out of cherry this time. We had our first snow of the season. It was just beautiful. Take a peek. Okay, our violin that we've been working on is now ready to rub down. It took a while for the varnish to really dry out enough for a rub down, so we're going to do a rub down and a polish and then try it out for you guys. Success!
Deborah here, we were able to go on another hike. This is to the Natural Bridge. This is the same hike I went on a few weeks back, but this time we got to the very top. That's right. In this section, we're making a harp in about three minutes. Idea. On this, so it goes back like that. Here, while I worked on wood burning the soundboard, my dad and Deborah worked on getting me some varnish samples from the different colors that we had. We settled on the clear oil varnish for the cherry bath. Now the harp is all varnished and ready to put together. It's getting so exciting. This is the latest harp. 
came out real nice. And I'll have to play it for you so you can hear how it sounds. But that's it. And then on the back side, we have plenty of room to put the strings in. Well, you guys, I rearranged the shop just a little bit. We needed a little more space for making all the violins and the harps. And the harps take up a lot of room, so we've cleared off this table that had all the candles on them. And this is my dad's workspace now that he's joined the ranks of harp maker. And then I'll have room here to lay out plans. Um, the candles have moved. I have them ready to go out to the art center. The art center has asked me to bring my candles, there's some over there, and miniatures. So I'll have to give you an update on that. So here we are, this is at the end of the day, and my dad's been working here on the necks, getting them all nice and smooth. the Hebrew Minute. Tov Hashem Lema'oz Bayom Tzara Vayodea Chotze Bo And it says Good is the Lord, or Hashem, the name we don't pronounce. For he is a stronghold or refuge in the day of trouble or distress. And he knows those who put their trust or refuge, find refuge in him. Thank you everyone for all the thumbs up. It's helping YouTube to recognize my videos with thumbs ups and comments. If you can comment below, that really helps the video too. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.